So it's been a while since I've uploaded a progress video. And since the last project progress video, I've been able to implement all of Project Freefall movement in Unity. And before I hop into Unity to show off Project Freefall, I'm actually gonna show off what the tech demo is gonna be like, because I do plan on releasing a tech demo uh, probably in the next couple days. It's just gonna be pretty bare bones, you'll see. But the a settings manager is actually included, what you're seeing here. And if you want to rebind any controls, you can do that. I'm uh, mouse sensitivity is not in at the moment, but I am going to look and see if it's simple to add. Otherwise, I'm just going to ask everybody to deal with it for now, but then open it. And before I even start playing, again, I'm going to show you I don't have an escape for exit at the moment, and I'm going to look to add that as well. But how I close when I want to get out of this, because the mouse is trapped, I just press the Windows key and then close. So I'll reopen. And the same goes with the, the terrain I'm on is unbounded and I don't have a respawn mechanic or anything like that. So if you fall off the terrain, you're going to want to close and then reopen the game. So I'm going to start off with the HUD. It's the bottom right there. We've got health is the one that's ticking down. The zero next to it is armor and nothing can damage you. There's no impact damage or anything of that nature at the moment. The energy bar is the one above and it's just it's exactly the same energy bar as was in free fall mechanically. The color there, the color change represents the energy regeneration. So if when it goes completely red, you're no longer regenerating energy at all. The two speedometers, the smaller of the two is vertical speed, which as you can see it's the only one that's actually moving at the moment. The other one is horizontal speed, so left and right, around, whatever. The movement keys are right mouse for up jet, middle mouse for lateral jets, and shift toggles ski, and then spacebar for jump. And you'll see actually with jump, it's worth pointing out that you just you'll bunny hop if you want. And so if you actually want, you can just bunny hop like tribe style, old old school tribe style, and you can bunny hop all you want. You can even turn on both skiing and bunny hopping at the same time, like what I'm doing right now. But this is really, I'll be releasing this tech demo mainly just to show that Unity is up to the task for handling tr the skiing type movement. The issues that were had in Unreal 3 are just not present at all in Unity, mainly because it's a completely different physics system, and so they, they just don't exist. So Unity is definitely up to the task, and I'm sure even with this limited demo, everybody will have a bit of fun. Anybody who's played Legacy probably it'll be like oh this is a lot like legacy it was like well because it is and anybody who likes the map props go out to greth for making it it i've played around on it for a while and it's a pretty good map especially when you consider that there's been very limited play testing on it so it's a good job really but this this is really all for the tech demo itself the further plans for unity are I'm, I want to get netcode functional and from what I hear it may not be exactly trivial but I'm going to give it a shot anyways because you have to try and we'll see how it works the other thing that's going on is that I'm porting project freefall to unreal 4 as well and we'll my plan is to have the, what you're seeing now functional movement along with netcode working in both engines and then from there I'll see uh, which one I go with. At the moment, even though I have done, I don't actually have anything functional in Unreal 4, that is the engine I'm leaning towards. It probably will serve the project the best, but I'm also leaving the door open to Unity because I should, really. So that said, I'm actually going to hop out of Unity now and then open up Unreal 4 just to show. I don't have any progress in Unreal 4 right now for Project Freeze Fall specifically. I've made progress code-wise, but uh, I wanted to show the engine, especially since I doubt too many of you have actually seen the new engine, aside from maybe some just press releases or something from Unreal. So, close this, go top left, play. All right, so I'm gonna, the sensitivity for, for the content demo that you're you're viewing right now it's a it's a free first person shooter demo uh i'll try and move my mouse gently but the sensitivity doesn't actually take in it i have to fix it 
So bear with me. I'll try not to be jerky. Otherwise, this is Unreal 4. And like Unreal 3, this content demo it comes with full net play. It's just a basic first-person shooter. Shoot, iron sights, jump, sprint. There's also pickups. You'll see there's a... I'll actually reload. I haven't taken any damage, so it's not a big deal. Mm, there we go. But this is a good start point. Like Unreal 3, this uh, most of the game is actually already built. So once movement is ported over, the networking already exists for the majority of the game as well, so it'll just be a matter of reincorporating the Project Freefall movement into the netcode again. Which, after I've been looking at the source code, which that's actually a big deal, the Unreal 4 Epic has released all the source code to the engine, to developers. And so I've been looking at the actual source code and the networking, uh, just the source code in general is a piece of beauty, but the networking is a lot easier to read. And it also, just from looking at what other people have done with the networking so far, it looks like it's going to be easier to incorporate Project Freefall movement and other th such things back into the networking. So hopefully it won't take nearly as long as it did in UEK or Unreal 3. Uh, otherwise, there's, I mean, there's, I'm not showing off any Project Freefall stuff. It's worth saying that I do think that Unreal 4, no matter what happens, if Project Freefall comes this or not, I think that we're in for a bit of a treat over the next few years, just due to, I mean, graphically, the engine looks great. I should point out that I'm, right now, this is a four-year-old graphics card. It was mid-range at the time, and it's playing on max settings at 720p while I'm recording and it's still maintaining 30 frames per second. So I think that's a pretty big deal. And then it's running with all these nice, shiny image-based textures and such like that, so, mmm. Oh, aside from that though, the source code axis is one of the reasons I think we're in for a treat. It's, there's a lot of restrictions that were common to run into. It, they no longer are restrictions as in like walls, they're just restrictions in time. The engine, that, like at the moment, it is set up for first-person shooter in this case. But if, for instance, somebody wanted to make some insane thing that is really hard to conceptualize, but they do know, as long as they know how to make it, they, all it requires is them to put forth the time to you know change the source code to suit. But it's a big deal. And then along with that, one of the nice things is the licensing has also changed. Where it was 30% royalty in UDK, it's now 5%. With the difference of the editor, you have to pay $20 to subscribe to, and it's a subscription model, pay $20. To get access to the engine, you just have to pay once, but if you release anything and you want to continue to sell it, you have to subscribe. It's overall, I think it's actually a better model. It's got, it's not without issues, but from what some of the developers and I think the CEO at Epic have said, it's still in the initial stages of how they're planning to sell and give access to the engine and so they're still much open to changing the way they're handling things so it's it's good news overall so anyhow that's really all i wanted to cover i just wanted to make a point that progress has been made in unity there will be a tech demo uh before uh, in the next couple of days i'm actually going on a road trip to death valley and i'm gonna do some sandboarding i'm gonna call it work research research anybody who's not heard of sandboarding uh it's pretty much like snowboarding but on sand dunes but i wanted to get a tech demo out before i went because i would it's been sitting on my hard drive now for a little while so anyhow thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments you can of course post on the game forums uh if, if you actually have a youtube account and use the commenting system you can post youtube comments or at cicade on twitter otherwise that's it and thanks for watching